Math is a functional life skill. It is the root of how we interact and how we make sense of the world around us. So having a deep conceptual understanding within mathematics, having the foundations of mathematics that you can build upon and build your conceptual understanding helps you access the world in a different way. Um, when we isolate mathematics to certain contents or certain, certain ways of doing things, and we limit the exploration and the freedom we have to problem solve and make sense of things on our own, we limit students' capacity to interact with the world and make sense of the world around them. We use mathematical understanding and conceptual understanding of mathematics every day of our lives without even thinking about it. And without, that, without those conceptual understandings, we would be lost. Deepening our conceptual understanding within mathematics, using foundations of math to really, to really bridge the gap and help students deepen that, their understanding of the world is as functional a life skill as you can get. Functional math skills versus what's thought of as academic math skills. It's really uh, talking to parents about the understanding of number identification versus understanding of numbers. So a lot of times parents often think their student understands the number one because they can, they can point at the number one and recognize that's a one. But if you ask them if they understand what the number one means, uh, students are often lost. And so when talking to parents, really talking about the parallel between being able to identify a number between, between between true understanding of what a number is, I think that really helps bridge that uh, concept of functional math skills versus academic math skills. I think we all need mathematics. Uh, there's a lot of research now that says that mathematics and algebraic thinking, in fact, is needed for participation in our democratic society and technologically driven world. And we often put those students of significant cognitive stabilities over here and say, no, they're not part of society. But in order for them to function in the real world, they need that level of mathematics. But we need to be able to see that math is part of the activities of daily living. I need to be able to read a bus schedule. I need to be able to make change. I need lots of things to live in the world that we are asked to live in and be part of the community.